ICAD Index Card Any Day, Day 4. On Index Card Day 4, I want to experiment with Inca Gold through stencils. I saw another YouTube artist do this technique and I thought it might be fun to experiment on one of my iCAD index cards with this new, to me, technique. I also break open a new set of Leonard manuscript dip pens and nibs to work with. It's one of those days for me again. One of those days where it's getting close to the end of the month. I enter a lot of swaps probably more swaps than I should have, or should, but 2013 has been a year of entering swaps for me. <laughs> and I have four of them due at the end of the month. And you know what I want to do? I want to work on my iCAD, my index card any day. Okay, my swaps should be taking priority, but sometimes I just need a break to get my inspiration uh, back. And I've found that doing these index cards are really fun for me and I can try out different techniques and I'm filling up my little index flip caddy. So I've done day one, day two, day three, I'm ready for day four. So without any Further delay, let's get started on, I always write this, day four. Okay, I get out all my supplies and uh, I start off by gessoing with blank black gesso on the front and the back of my index card. I decide that I'm going to use some Inca Gold. Uh, through stencils. Now I picked this uh, technique up from another YouTube artist. I want to credit her and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing her name right but I'm sure that if you watch a lot of art YouTube videos that you'll know her name is Christy Sobolowski. I'll put her link to her YouTube channel in the description. Now I picked out some stencils and I started to stencil through. I did not like what I did. There was too much water with my Inca Gold, so I just jessled it out and started all over again. The stencil that I'm using is a Prima stencil there, and then I'm using a Tim Holtz, the negative space from a Tim Holtz grunge board, chipboard punch, punch outs. And then it's through the oval there, and I get out a brush and I do the traditional stencil stipling and, and stippling, and that works a lot better. Cleaning off my stencil, really like the shiny effect of that ink of gold on the black. Get off the Tim Holtz grunge board stencil and decide I'm going to use some blue ink of gold. And I just use a touch of water and I stencil the numbers off of that grunge board. Then I get out it I this sense so I got it goodwill I have no idea who did it but it's, it's just a couple little flowers at the top so my whole objective was just to play with the ink of gold through the stencils I'm just adding a little copper distressing around the edges I decide that I want to do the black so I get out uh, the red ink of gold and stencil through a rose stencil there on the back happy with that clean off my stencil decide I want to do a little bit more make that blue just stand out a little bit more on the front clean off my stencil and decide I want to do those same numbers on the back I decide I thinking that the back needs a little bit, little bit more so here again I'm just getting the feel of how the ink of gold works through the stencils. You can use Inca Gold in a lot of different ways and here I'm just distressing the edges again. I, I like the very metallic fix the metallic sheen to this. It's kind of distressing the back. Put everything away. I use little baby wipes in there. Inca Gold has kind of a waxy consistency 
I get out my glazing and I gl glaze both the the front and the back and you'll see where I flip this card over I kind of after I dry it I kind of tear a little spot on the back and have to mend that but no problem there see I tear it so I just take a little of my black gesso and mend it up I'll grunge it up on the side a little bit more have plenty of black gesso to do the back of a of a tag for another project get out clean wax paper and my glaze and glaze the back and dry that all off you can see I'm moving that index card around several times so that it won't stick to the wax paper the reason I glaze this is because I'm going to write on this card with my new Leonard manuscript pen that I you can see I just got them out there I haven't even opened the package yet you're going to watch me open that package and the glaze on it the ink will the glaze will bar the ink from getting that pen to get on the waxy surface of the ink of gold. Now I had a problem with my pens in that when I opened them up they really secured those nibs in there with tape. Well it tore the back off of one of my nibs. So I'm either going to have to fix it or or go without it. Just making everything sure everything is nice and dry, shaking up my ink, getting my pen ready using speedball white ink and the very first thing I notice with this pen is how much ink it holds and how easily it flows through that nib. I was very happy with the I could just tell the difference in the feel as I doodled around those letters. Now here I'm just doodling those roses up at the top and you'll see I don't like that. I don't like what I did so I dry it off and because I have glazing on here I can just take a wet cloth and and uh, clean off most of that and I dry it again and redo my doodles on the roses and I'm much happier with this little doodle sketch just getting the feel of how the pen writes and I'm I'm really like how it feels in my hand. Now, I did not have a quote ready so the quote that I just wrote on there was create art every day and then I just doodled some more little leaves around decorative leaves on the, each side and that was the front. Just something to, to uh, experiment with to keep me creative creating every day and I just decide on the back all I'm going to do is write my name and sign it and uh, the whole object of this was to play with the ink of gold um, between the stencils and with my new manuscript pen and I feel like I accomplished both of those my camera bopped off on me I'm doing, putting it in my card index card any day and I did day four so I don't know how much I got on my other side on my other film but I've already put it in my iCAD so I'm happy with that I have four done out of 144 I have 140 index cards to go any day now Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more art videos in the future.